Hello and welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Maranatha, The Lord is Coming by Ellen G. White. Today's reading is March the 2nd, Healing for Sin-Sick Souls. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Isaiah 1 verses 5 and 6 There is a remedy for the sin-sick soul. That remedy is in Jesus. Precious Savior, His grace is sufficient for the weakest, and the strongest must also have His grace or perish. I saw how this grace could be obtained. Go to your closet and there alone plead with God, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Be in earnest, be sincere. Jacob-like wrestle in prayer, agonize. You must make an effort. Seek the Lord with all your heart. Come with zeal, and when you sincerely feel that without the help of God you perish, when you pant after Him as the heart panteth after the water brooks, then will the Lord strengthen you speedily. Then will your peace pass all understanding. If you expect salvation, you must pray. Take time, be not hurried and careless in your prayers. Beg of God to work in you a thorough reformation, that the fruits of His Spirit may dwell in you, and you shine as lights in the world. Be not a hindrance or curse to the cause of God. You can be a help, a blessing. Does Satan tell you that you cannot enjoy salvation full and free? Believe him not. I saw that it is the privilege of every Christian to enjoy the deep movings of the Spirit of God. A sweet heavenly peace will pervade the mind, and you will love to meditate upon God and heaven. You will feast upon the glorious promises of His Word. If professed Christians love Jesus better than the world, they will love to speak of Him, their best friend in whom their highest affections are centered. He came to their aid when they felt their lost and perishing condition. When weary and heavy laden with sin, they turned unto him. He removed their burden of guilt and sin and turned the whole current of their affections. The things they once loved, they now hate. And the things they hated, they now love. Has this great change taken place in you? Healing for Sin-Sick Souls the whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. This is a beautiful reading, telling us God's plan for us, His desire for us, and that He can provide the, the peace, the blessings we really want in life. So what do we do? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise You for being God. We praise Holy Spirit for being our comforter, and we praise Christ for being our Savior. The Lamb slain from the foundation of the world, the Savior who would come to take away our sins. And we want to claim that promise as given in this reading today that says that if we ask for you to create in us a clean heart, to renew a right spirit within us, that if we come apart and ask for the Holy Spirit, ask for you to really change us, that you will. You say that there is nothing that you will not hold or nothing good you will not, that you would withhold from your children. So Lord, we ask for this. Once again, we ask that you search within us whatever might be in the way that is holding us back from making a full surrender. But Lord, take it from us. But Lord, whatever you have to do to save us in your kingdom, Lord, do it. Give us a love for you and a hatred for the world. Give us enmity for the world. Make us the enemy of Satan and make us a child of God. Do this for us and Lord, not just for us. Do it for our family members. Do it for our church. Do it for our community. May people see the power and impact. Start with us that we can be witnesses and light showing your good works. And the wondrous things that you've done in us that others can want it, Lord. But Lord, we want to truly claim this blessing. We no longer want to be servants of sin. We want healing. We want freedom from addictions of all forms of sins, all problems. We want healing in our marriages and our homes, Lord. So we want this answer and we claim this. We thank you. We praise you for this glorious blessing. And Lord, when we pray this, 
Help us to remember to move in faith, not to move with feelings, to wait for a feeling of victory, but to know that since you said it, it will be done. We thank you. We praise you for this new life we have. In Jesus' name, amen.